Okay, so it's been slightly over a week since we got beta 3 of WatchOS 7.1 and today we have the successor to that which is beta 4. So for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 that you see here, if we go into the settings and then go to general and then go to software update, you can see that we have WatchOS 7.1 developer beta 4. Now this is actually a special update and I believe it's a first for 2020 and perhaps when it comes to watchOS 7 now the reason why this beta 4 is different from all the other watchOS 7.1 betas that we've heard previously is that it comes with two build numbers one of the build numbers is 18R 5585A and the other one is 18R5586A. So I'm curious to see which build number I'm going to be getting on my Series 6 here. But we also have an explanation on why we have these two build numbers. So let's quickly update and see what are the changes that came with this build number and this beta 4. And also just to see, you know, which build number we get on this Apple Watch Series 6. So let's quickly update and then we'll see what changes. Okay, so our watch has now been updated to WatchOS 7.1 Beta 4 and if we go into the settings and then go to General and then go to About, you can see the version or the build number that we have here that it's 18R5585A. So I got the 85A build number and the other build number that was released which is 86A is perhaps, you know, for the Apple Watch Series three because Earlier on this week, Apple released WatchOS 7.0.3 and that was basically a fix for the Apple Watch Series 3 because there were rebooting issues when it comes to the Series 3 of that Apple Watch. So that's why Apple first of all released WatchOS 7.0.3 for that issue and the other build number is perhaps for just the Series 3. So if you have a Series 3 and you update to Beta 4, you won't get this build number. I would like to think that you get 18R5586A. So that's the build number that I think you'll be getting. But as for me, you can see the build number that I got with this update. Now, I have to say that, you know, it was pretty, you know, quick downloading the update as it came in for me on my Series 6 at 128 megabytes. And I have to mention that, you know, the preparation for this update took longer than expected. It took about 15 minutes, which is usually like 10 minutes, but this one took a bit longer. But the watch temperature remained more or less the same. And that's the good thing that I noticed. However, when it comes to new features or changes that came with this update there isn't any new features that i actually noticed besides that you know with watchOS 7.1 the betas that we've been on we've been getting you know quite a number of um new emojis and new features just here and there but with this specific beta 4 there's nothing new that i could really find if, if you found something else just comment it down below in the comment section below and i'll be able to check it out but you know the new emojis that we had with this update are actually there so if if we go to perhaps the food and drink and go down you will notice that you know this food tray here this is a new uh, emoji that came with 7.1 it's still there on beta form if we go down a little bit you'll notice that we have bubble tea and this is in the food section if you go back to another section let's say you know faces you can see that you know this is a new emoji that came on 7.1 but you know you can see that on beta form it's still there and basically when it comes to watch faces if just in case you are curious to see if you know watch faces are working you can see that you know this screen is no longer you know freezing or glitching unlike the previous betas i'm able to change my watch face here which is good and i can even you know select this watch face that has my custom emoji and i can click on it and you know you can see that it can change side there was a bit of a delay initially when i selected this watch face so 
could be a small glitch that came with this update but as you can see it's showing and also if we select just you know for purposes of testing this update if we select a different watch face just to show you that it's also working so in this case let's select this one you can tap it you can see that you know it's changing as it's supposed to with each tap that i perform so basically nothing new or nothing major with this beta 4 apple mentioned that this is basically for stability improvements and also you know if you have the series 3 you might get a build number that is different from this and basically this is how watch with you know 7.1 beta 4 is on my apple watch series 6 so you can see that you know applications are working as they are supposed to let's open like something we've never opened before music here you can see that it's loading i actually don't use apple music i use spotify but as you can see it's working let's open uh this app here just to see if it's working you can see that you know it's working as it's supposed to so that is good and you know volume here yeah it's working and if we go to see the battery performance of this watch so let's go to settings and then go to the, uh back here and then we go to the battery section which is here you can see that you know my battery health is still on 100 percent so my maximum capacity is on 100 and before updating it was actually on 100 so no change there and just go back to see how my usage was basically i've been using beta 4 for about an hour now as you can see and i so far i can't really say that it drastically drained my battery it didn't heat up when i updated initially so when it comes to battery performance uh on beta 3 i actually didn't have any issues i was going to bed with my watch at 100 percent then i would wake up with the battery you know at around 94 percent and with time i'll be able to tell how good the battery life is with watch 7.1 beta 4 if i don't make a video about it i will definitely tweet about it so just in case you are wondering what's my twitter handle this is my twitter handle and you know if you follow me you'll be able to see how uh, my watch is doing in terms of battery performance on beta 4 so basically that's about it for me when it comes to watch 7.1 developer beta 4 this comes in just you know slightly after a week since we saw beta 3 and if you like this video please drop a like and hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of the watch os updates that we have for you and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace